talk we'll discuss about the sap hana file systems so recommended uh, file systems file systems at operating system level at the os level when you do the hana installation we have the file systems will be created right so those file systems are very important here right so normally hana studio level we can see some of the log files and everything so some of the properties files everything we can see it here so here also whenever you do the hana installation either sap or hana os level some file systems will be created os level some file systems will be created at operating system level right so what are those file systems here so normally we know that is the root this is the root file system this is the common file system here for hana we have slash hana data also available slash hana the log file system also available right data means actual data right yesterday when we discussed about the the delta merge and save point the actual data written into the in this data folder right and the changes about the the sql and the databases changes the log segments and everything will return into the the log folder here in the log folder so it, it will write the frequently frequently it will write the data into log folder here right in the data folder every five minutes once the save point will happen then committed data actual sql data will stay or will be moved to the data folder here so normally we should not touch this data folder or log folder here right it's a very very important folders here it's very very important folders here slash and a data slash and a log here slash and a data slash and a log here so when you do the hana installation when you do the hana installation here so these are the file systems will be created here so apart from that and also the there is a one more file system that is called the usr sap and sid suppose your sid is the rkr then rkr file system will be created in this way we can see how many how many sids we have installed in the one single host we can find out here suppose like usr so usr slash sap then if you type ls ltr you see how many sids are installed here right so they are the so s4 g phd a lot of things are installed here tribula or omega oh my god lot of things are installed by the our guys here right so you can see it here still you guys are doing the installations only right so that uh, you need to concentrate on installation no one asks questions on the installations right so only they will ask the administration tabs where to change the parameters so what you see in the overview tab those things they may ask you performance tab and everything so that is the reason okay so please concentrate on the administration part not always to the installations okay so that is what like under the usr sap you can see the many so every sid sid will be created so sid will be created here so under the sid under the sid here then after the usr sap they are the folders are called the sys folder then hdb hdb then instance number instance number will be created then here yeah, the home page will be created home page home page usr sap home page will be created right sys hdb instance number and home page here hdb instance number in this way we can find out what is the instance number of the your rkr if the new person if the any one new person wants to connect to the your sap your hana system then you don't know the person who installed it is the, not provided any details he left the organization then the one more way to is to find out is like go to the under the usr sap see the what is the sid then go to one more step above then you will see the hdb instance number right hdb instance number folder here so then you will see the this files here right sys right so under the sys again we have the profile directory right then under the sys we have the global directory so under the sys we have the exe directory here same as like sap 
so here also under the sys we have the these are the folders will be created here under the sys here so if you go to the here the cd the sys here then here we have the right so profile directory global directory then exe directory here so if you go to the profile then here the profiles are available hana related profiles are available default profile hana instance profile so sir is it the application hana is a combination of software and hardware requirements here so it is also kind of application but if the main aim of this one is to store the data to store the data which is coming from the sap applications are somewhere so it will store the data in the form of column store tables right so here we have the some parameters related ana, ana, ana configuration settings some parameters are there normally we won't touch these two things here it, we will keep it as as is right so this is the profile sana profiles contains here right when you go to the one step back if you click just cd dot dot slash you are going to the one step back here one step back here then cd exe exe means hana related executable files hana related all the executable files will be available under cd exe uh, executable file means so all the con libraries so suppose like index servers name server p processor so hana related suppose these are the binaries are installed suppose like if you take the windows operating system when you do the windows operating system under the c drive under the c drive here under the c drive here so you will get the so c windows system 32 some binary some folders will be created right program files and everything will be created same as like here also here also whenever you do the exe will be created under the exe we have the db server name server access engine compile server index server so if these binaries are there these are the binaries means executable files these binaries are there that is the reason your HANA system is up and running. These binaries are there. So that is the reason. If the binaries are there, that is the reason your HANA process are up and running. So these binaries are exist in the system. So that's the reason you have the all the details are available here. These binaries are exist. That's the reason uh, SAP HANA is up and running here. HANA. So these binaries are running here. That is the reason your HANA process are running. Right, this is the executable files. Ana related executable files are existed to operating system level. Right, so that is the one thing here. So if you go to one step back here, two step back here, then sys sys under the sys we have the global directory here. So in the global directory, what it contains here, some of the security related settings here. Some of the security, the internal uh, security related uh, file system related SSF keys and all will be available in the security folder here also also if you go to hdb hdb then custom and config hdb custom config this is one of the important question here we have the here we have the ina files are there ina files so normal ina files means now we will come to one and one thing in the mind here saying that sir in the configuration files in the configuration folder we will do the changes right here yes if the HANA is up and running, here you will do the all the changes, right? HANA is up and running, here you will do the all the changes and everything here. But if you do the changes here, then the changes will be reflected here as well. If you do the some changes here, same changes will be reflected here as well here, which means the INI files are available here as well. So you can also do the changes from here as well, operating system level also. In case of you are unable to see, unable to do anything from unable to access from the HANA studio level to HANA database, then operating system level, you can log in from here. This location, you can change it here. This global HDB custom configuration folder, you can do the so INA files. One important question they may ask you, HANA parameters are INA files where it is exist. And the HANA studio level, you will change it. But I want to change it from the operating system level. What is the location? Then in this case, you need to answer like, USR SAP SID sys global HDB custom config. This location you should remember, right? This is a very, very important point. They may ask you why because people won't remember all those things. That's why interview would ask me these questions. Why? Because it's important thing for everybody, right? Here also we can do the changes here. Suppose global data and limit change data manager, just we can go to the VI editor and we can do the changes here. Go to the VI editor here. 
how much global allocation limit you want to change it here here you can change the global allocation limit and so all those things we can do the changes here right that's why we discussed about the commands as well right global dot ina files here right that is the one thing here right that is the that is the thing of the so hdb global directory here right so usr sap sid sys this all are available under the sys directory only this all are under the sys only under the sys we have the profile directory global directory executable directory here so the people they may ask you like can you tell me the location of the ina files at operating system level then you need to tell like usr sap sid sys global at least you need to tell up to here global then after that hdb custom config like that you need to learn executable files location here then profile directory location here so all those things you need to tell all, the, all those things you need to answer it here right that is the one thing here so next one is the hdb instance number here hdb instance number here sad csr usr sap sid then hdb hdb instance number here hdb 28 after the sys we have the hdb 28 here so here also here also these are the environmental variable settings and all those things this is not much important but here one important thing is the so backup if you take the backup this is a backup location it will be located here then after that ca cd the host name whatever the host name you can see you can go to the host name here ls and ltr so then under the host name here we can see the trace directory under the host name so under the host name here host name host name then here you have the all the directories are available here very very important directory is the trace directory trace directory here trace directory so remaining all are so not much important but trace directory is the very important here here if we go to the trace directory here in the trace directory you can see the log files here you can see the log files here name server dot trace availability log trace index server dot trace <coughs> pre processor dot pre processor dot trace and compile server dot trace here compile server so all the trace files are available sir i see somewhere i have seen these traces in the hana studio that is called the diagnosis files yes diagnosis files in the diagnosis files also diagnosis files means these are the diagnosis files here right so how it is displaying means here there is a how it is displaying means here we have the information is there so this information you are getting from sap here you have the information from the sap here here you have the details then you are getting the details here index server dot race loads and everything here right so eight to nine zero so same folders are available here as well here sir here also displaying and there also displaying means yes true but because so if, if the files are there operating system level then only you can be able to see it from here if the files are not there then you cannot see it right so that's the reason here suppose if i delete something here if i delete something here except uh, so some folders here then here also will not show here also will not show here here also it will not be displayed here so that is the very important here so either studio level we can see it and everything but if you are with the studio level when you will connect if the hana is up and running then you can connect to the hana studio then you will do all those things suppose if hana is down then how can you connect to the how will you check the log files right so that is the reason os level this trace directory is the very important here see trace directory under the trace directory tenant related log files tenant means access engine index server related if you go to the, the main trace directory here so then index name server pre processor everything is available here system delivery related process and uh, those process related log files are available here right so and also tenant one you want to check the tenant tenant is the db underscore tenant is the rkr then rkr related log files are tenant means index server name server then index server access engine access engine and so index server related log files will be available here right so these are the log files that are available so we can find out what's happening with the so yesterday also we have seen what's happening with the my index server index server is the main process here right so whether the save points are happening or not yes happening so then what is this configurations here right so then all the information we can see it here all the information we can see it here in the directory in the trace directory here right so which means these are the 
operating system level file system os level file systems here os level ana file systems here in this trace directory is the very important here people may ask you don't ask like in the ana studio level where to check the log files means so everybody tell like diagnosis files we can check the log files here so and also if you want to collect the more logs logs collection diagnosis logs collection here sometimes uh, when the, your ana system is having the trouble or uh, some performance issues sap will ask you to collect the log files so in that case you can go to the ana studio diagnosis files yeah just click on the collect means uh, like ana uh, sap team sap will ask you to collect the one week of data or two weeks of data or yesterday's data then based upon the time frame you can collect the all the you can collect the all the data you can collect it then so you can provide the dumps to the sap head they will fix the issue here this is the collection of the diagnosis files information here collection of diagnosis files information suppose like sometimes what happens the existing logs will not enough to troubleshoot it right then sap will ask us to collect the more logs here in that case you can go to the diagnosis information in the hana studio then collect the logs here you can collect the logs you can collect it here it will give you the more information and everything here that is for the collection of the more logs so sometimes in the interview point of time or technical discussion people may ask you how to collect the logs how to collect the diagnosis log files here in the hana studio level diagnosis files so we can there is a option like diagnosis information we can collect it or voice level some python scripts we can execute it to collect the dumps here right so this is the ways we can collect the log files here mainly they will concentrate on the logs here why because as a administrator we may have to concentrate on the troubleshooting point of view like how to fix the issues so where to check the logs if you check the logs then they will based upon the logs then we will come to know what went wrong and what is going wrong in the system and all those things right at least we should know about the to the logs location once you open the logs then definitely we will we will be in the troubleshooting we are the best troubleshooter best uh, troubleshooter okay so the main thing is the checking the logs are very important here right so this is a trace directory the remaining directories are not much important but here trace directory is only one important thing here remaining are the certificates related log folder and work directory web dispatcher related things there are the logs so it's not much important but here the this is the trace directory is the very 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 important directory trace directory right this is the very important directory here so this is about the ana ana file systems ana sap ana file systems at operating system level here this is a very important directory and a global directory are the very very important directory here this directory is daily one or two times we may have to go to in this folder and we have to check the all the issues and everything so we have to check it out in this trace directory here right this is about the sap also we have the similar file systems right same as like here same as like here also we have the file system but here we have the hdb something sap here d instance number something like that you will get it out ascs and db d instance number like that you will get the file system structure here right this is about the hana file system structure here okay